Hey everybody, Chad at Turner's Warehouse and today I want to talk to you about ink for your pens. So whether you're a pen maker or a pen enthusiast, you're going to want to watch this so you know a little more about ink. So there's nothing worse than grabbing your favorite pen and starting to write and having it be out of ink or have bad ink. And in fact, when you have a good pen with good ink, you're going to notice every time you write how smooth it is and how much you enjoy writing. So ink is very important for the pen maker or the pen collector. Now we're going to go over four types of ink here. We're going to talk about Cross, Parker, Rollerball, and Fountain Cartridges in depth with each type of pen. So let's first talk about the Cross pen. Typically Cross pens are smaller, slimmer pens. And the reason they use a Cross is because the Cross refill is very slim and small. Now it's called a cross style refill because Cross was the first company to make this, I believe, or it was their signature refill. And we have them at Turner's Warehouse in a variety of, of brands and styles. So what you'll see here are more of a high quality Monte Verde style. And we also have more of a generic uh, refill style for display pens, or if you want to include a bunch of extras at a low cost, we have those in multiple colors. Now the Monteverdes come in different colors and they come in a two pack blister like this. So it's perfect for if you're selling pens, you can offer these as an additional purchase or you can include them if you have it built into your price. But let's talk about how this works. So on a slim line, you would pull the pen apart, the two halves, and then the refill is threaded and it unscrews. So anytime you see this refill, it's a cross style refill and it's going to thread into your pen. When it runs out, you just unthread it, put in a new one, press the pen back together, and you're ready to go. So in addition to slim lines, you're going to find other pen kits that use this, like the Groove Click, the Streamline, the Comfort, and a variety of others. So you just look for the cross style refill for those pens. Next is the most popular style, in my opinion, the Parker style. So the Parker style refill uses or is used in many pens such as the Monarch, the Sierra, the Gatsby, the list goes on and on. And of course my favorite, the Cigar. Now the Parker style comes in, uh, same as the others, usual generic packs, uh, gel packs. So you can actually get a gel Parker style, which look a little bit like this. And then there's the regular ballpoint Parker style. My favorite is the Schmidt Easy Flow, and we have a couple of colors here at Turner's Warehouse. This is what I use for all my pens that I write with, as well as when I sell premium pens, they all come with an Easy Flow. This pen in my pocket that I use on a daily basis has a Schmidt Easy Flow in it right now. To replace a, a Parker style, you're going to have a pen with some sort of transmission. It might be threaded or uh, pressed but the Parker style is slid in with a spring at the front. Now, if you remember on the cross, it didn't have a spring because it threaded into the transmission. This one is pushed and the spring is what keeps tension on it and activates the refill. So to replace it, typically you can take off the transmission or in some cases you might unthread the front tip and pull the refill out that way. So you just gotta know what type of pen. And like I said, this is the most popular there are hundreds of pen kits and manufacturers that use the Parker style refill. So if you are making Parker style refill pens, make sure you have some good ink with you as well as your, your table ink or your show ink. All right, next we have Rollerball and Fountain, and I'm gonna tackle these separately, but typically they're interchangeable as far as you can make it a Rollerball or a Fountain when you're making. But in terms of refill, let's talk Rollerball first. So you're gonna see all rollerball and fountain pens are capped. The reason being is most rollerballs, and until recently all rollerballs had to be capped. There is a Schmidt capless rollerball now available, but it's fairly new. But all rollerballs will come in a package with a cap on them because they will dry out over time. So you're gonna always find it being a capped pen. Now, this is a very uh, tricky thing because you can get a generic roller ball and they work fine for a while, but they don't last near as long as premium ink and they're not near as smooth. Roller balls are known for their smoothness. 
One unique thing about a rollerball pen, if we take out the refill here, you're going to notice when I take off the tip, there is no spring. The spring is actually at the back of the refill. So the spring pushes against it and keeps pressure. So when you're writing, your spring, your front tip is actually spring loaded. And I'll do it here if I can on my finger. Yeah, maybe on the table. You can see it's spring loaded. And that what that's what keeps even pressure on it and makes it such a smooth writer is that back pressure. Now I like a Schmidt rollerball myself. Most higher end kits like uh, Deacom kits or our element kits that we make all come with a Schmidt rollerball. When you get into a lower price kit, they include a generic. And the reason being is sometimes the ink refill might cost more than the kit if you're talking a low priced pen. So anything higher quality, just take a look. It probably already comes with a Schmidt and you won't have to upgrade it. And that's a great thing for you. So lastly is probably the most fun if you ask me, and we're gonna talk fountain. Now fountain pens can be refilled one of two ways. You can use cartridges, like these little cool Conklin cartridges, or you can use a converter with a bottle of ink. Now we're gonna cover the converter and ink, bottle of ink in another video, so I'm gonna set that aside, and we're just gonna talk cartridges. Cartridges typically come with most pen kits. Sometimes the higher end kits will come with a cartridge and a converter, so you do have options. But to refill a cartridge pen, you unscrew the tip, you'll take a cartridge, and I'm not gonna do this just because this is a display pen, and there's a little nipple inside there. You take the front end of this, you press it on, and you wanna just give it a little pressure and twist, and you'll feel it slide over that nipple, and then you give it a second, it'll start to feed. Now, cartridges are great because they're easy and they're less mess, but they don't come in as near as many colors as bottle ink does. But you can see, even just these Conklins, we have five different colors just laying right here, and I think we have a couple more. So there are colors out there, and there are high-quality inks. Cartridges and converters that you will need for this style of pen is called an international standard. So some companies do make their own cartridges and, and converters that only fit their pens, like name brand pens, but most kits and most common pens are international standard cartridge and converter. So you have a lot of options. We do sell high quality 10 pack refills in two colors, as well as the specialty colors in the Conklin. So you got a lot of options there. So one question we get a lot at the pen store is, what about gel versus ballpoint versus rollerball? And let me just give you a quick breakdown. So over here, the Cross and the Parker, those are ballpoint pens, meaning inside the ink refill, there's a little ball that rolls. Whereas the rollerball is a loaded pen and you saw that reverse spring uh, on the back end and those have to be capped. So a lot of times people are confused if they want ballpoint or rollerball. However, it depends on the pen style what will fit in your pen. Now you can get gel for ballpoint when sometimes gel are rollerballs in other brands. So it can get a little muddy. Now I will tell you that the Easy Flow, in my opinion, writes like a gel and that's why I like it because I actually don't like gel refills. It's personal preference. So the Easy Flow to me writes like a rollerball or a gel. Maybe if they had a baby, uh, it flows like that. It's a easy flow, I guess. That's why it's not just a clever name. So you kind of got to find what is your niche. Now, if you have a customer you're making a pen for or a friend you're making a pen for, they may have something they like. So you can always ask them, do you have an ink preference? And if they say no, then they don't. If they have an ink preference, they're going to let you know because they, they're going to know what they like. So experiment with that. Definitely have some upgraded inks for your pens that you make and just be ready for all different styles and requests. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it answered some questions on ink refills. If you have any other questions, put them in the comment or reach out to us at Turner's Warehouse. Be sure and like this video and give us a subscribe on the channel. We'll see you next time.